Hello and welcome to we're doing a question from Leak Code called palindrome linked list. It's an easy, we are going to jump right into it. Given the head of a singly linked list, return true if it is a palindrome or false otherwise. Now, what is a palindrome? A palindrome is anything that reads the same going forward as it does going back. Basically, it's mirrored across some center point. Example one, we have one, two, two, one, and we can see that it is a palindrome, right? It reads the same if we were to read it left to right or right to left and the mirror axes here would be between these two nodes. It could have also had a third node in here, say valued three, that would still make it a palindrome, then that entire node itself would have been that axis. So here we output true, and example two, we would output false, it is one, two, it is not mirrored, it doesn't read the same left to right or right to left. And we have some constraints and a follow-up. Could you solve this in O of n time and O of one space? Okay, now if we want to find out if something is a palindrome, usually what we would do is start off at our two ends and work our way up until the middle. If all the nodes up until the middle are the same from both of our ends, then we know we are a palindrome, right? However, this is a singly linked list, meaning we can only move in one direction. At any given node, we only have two pieces of information, our own node's value and the pointer to the next node. We don't know anything else. So how are we going to solve this in O of n time and in O of one space? Feel free to pause the video and think about this. Now we know we are a singly linked list. So what if given a linked list, we had two pointers fast and slow at the head of a linked list. So say we have two different examples so we can work with both an odd size linked list and an even sized linked list. So we have two pointers fast and slow at our head. Now what if we move our fast pointer up two nodes every time and the slow pointer up only one node every single time? So having the fast pointer move at double the speed as the slow pointer, we would have fast at node three and slow at node two after that first iteration. Then we would do this again. Fast would be at one, slow would be at three. And over here, we can't go further, right? There's no next to next node. But over here, there is room, right? We have a next to next. So let's move this one down. So fast would end up at none here, and so would end up at the beginning of our second half of the linked list. What this does is it finds our midpoint. So now that we have our midpoint, what if as we traverse through our linked list, we just reversed our pointers? So in this first linked list example, threes next, instead of pointing to two, would point to none, like so. And twos next, instead of pointing to one, would point to three. Ones next would point to two. And there's nothing after that, so we would stop here. And say we want to try the same thing out for an even sized linked list, what would that look like? It would be the same thing, right? We would have one pointing to two, pointing to three, pointing to none. And what we've basically done is separated this into two separate linked lists. So now we can start from the beginning of each linked list. We have a one here and a one here, and now move in. So one's next here is two, one's next here is two two's next here is three, two's next here is three, and three's next is none. And now as we iterate through our linked list, our two new linked lists, comparing the values at every single iteration, if they match, we know we are a palindrome up until that point. As soon as they don't match anymore, we would output false. And once we converge in the middle without outputting false, we can output true stating that we are a palindrome because it's going to read the same forward and backwards because it is mirrored. We just split our linked list in half, reversed it, and then traversed inward from both ends. So that's all we need to do. Now let's go ahead and code this up and then actually run through this example. So to code this up, first we wanna cover our base cases. What if our input is none or if it only has one node? So if not head or not head dot next, we are just going to return true. It is by default a palindrome. So return true. Now, if this is not the case, what we want to do is initialize our fast and slow pointer. So fast is going to equal slow, which is going to equal head. So say we have the following linked list as our examples. I've modified it just a little bit. Fast and slow start off at head over here. The first thing we want to do is find our midpoint. So in order to do that, we're just going to iterate fast, double the speed as slow. So while fast, while that node is not none, and fast.next, there is a next node we can jump over, we're going to move fast down to its next next node. So fast is going to equal fast dot next dot next. And so it's just going to move up one. So slow equals slow dot next. 
So over here, what would this look like? We start off at our head over here. While fast and fast.next, we're going to use both of our examples. So we get an idea of both an odd size linked list and an even size linked list. Going through this one first, right? We see that fast is true and fast.next is also true. It's not none. We're going to move fast to fast next, next note. So it's going to go down to four. And so it's just going to go over by one. We go back in this while loop. This is true and the next also exists. So we move fast down to its next next node, which is one. And we move slow down to its next node, which is four. Going back in this loop fast, this is true, but fast.next is not true. That is none. So we are going to exit this while loop. Now, if we had an even size linked list, what would that look like over here? Fast would go down to its next next node. So it ends up at three over here. And so would just move down to two. We go back in this while loop. This is true. Fast next also exists. So we go to its next next node. So fast is going to be at two and so is going to move down to its next, which is three. Doing this one more time because fast is not none and its next is also not none. So we would go down to its next next node, which means fast would now be at none and so would now be at four. So at this point, we know our midpoints for our linked list. Now, all we want to do is go ahead and traverse through that remaining second half of our linked list, switching our pointers, reversing it, right? One's next is going to be two, two's next is going to be four, four's next is going to be none. One's next is going to be two, two's next is going to be four, four's next is going to be none. So we're going to need a current pointer and a previous pointer. Previous, we're going to set that to be none and current is going to be wherever slow is. So we have current over here and current over here. All we need to do is iterate through. So while current, while that is not none, there's still nodes we can go through. We know we want to switch our next pointer. Now, if we switch our next pointer, we're going to lose our connection to our actual next node. So let's save that next node in a temporary variable. So temp is going to equal our current next. So temporary is now going to hold two. And now that this is stored, we can do our pointer changing. So current dot next is going to equal what we had in previous, which means that four instead of pointing to two is now going to point to none. So we have current node four pointing to none, which was our previous and over here as well. Current dot next instead of going to two is going to our previous, which was none. Now that we've made these pointer switches, we want to reset what previous and current are. So once we go back in this while loop, we can keep it going. So we want to set our previous to be our current node. So previous is going to equal current and our current is now going to be that temporary node. So current is going to equal temp, which means instead of being four, it's now going to be two. And same thing over here, instead of current being four, previous is now four and our current is going to be our temporary, which is node two. So we go back in this while loop. Let's look at this linked list first by itself. We see that this is true. Current is not none. We're going to set temp to be current.next. It's going to be one. Current.next is going to be previous. So two's next instead of going to one is going to go to four. Previous moves down to be current and current moves down to be temp. We go back in this while loop, current is not none, temporary is going to equal current.next. So temporary is none, current.next is going to equal previous. We make this connection over here. Previous moves down to current and current moves down to be temp. Now we have to exit this while loop because current is no longer true, right? We hit none, so we exit. And we can see that we reverse the second half of our linked list. Now, if we were to do this with this example over here, right? We have while current, this is true. Temp is going to equal current.next. Current.next is going to equal previous, previous is going to equal current, and current is going to equal temp. We go back in this while loop, this is still true, temp is going to equal current.next, which means it's none. Current.next equals previous, so one instead of pointing to none is now going to point to two, previous is going to equal current, and current is going to equal temp. And we can't go back in this while loop because current is now none. And here as well, we have reversed the second half of our linked list. Now, all we need to do is have two pointers at both ends of our linked list. So say head one is going to be our original head, the beginning over here. And head two should start at this end over here. So we can set head two to be previous because that's going to mark the first node on this end of it. So H2 is going to equal previous. And I'm also going to get rid of fast and so we have no use for them anymore. So just to clean things up a bit. So H1 is on this end and H2 is on this end. Now, all we need to do is just loop through. So while H2, 
while there are still nodes on this end, for example, what we want to do is compare it to H1. If these nodes are not equal, we are going to return false. So if H1.val does not equal H2.val, we return false. We are not a palindrome. If that is not the case, then we just need to move them down. So H1 is going to equal H1.next and H2 is going to equal H2.next. So let's look at this linked list first. These are equal in value, so we just move these in. So now they're at this node over here. We go back in our loop while h2, this is true. These values are equal. We move h1 down to h1 next and we move h2 down as well. So now they're both at node four. We go back in this while loop. This is true. h2 is not none. These values are equal. They're pointing at the same node. So what we do is move both of these down to their next node. Now their next node is over here, which is none. So they end up over here and we can't go in this while loop anymore because this is now none. So since we haven't returned false, all we need to do is return true. This is a palindrome. Now let's see how this is going to work for this example over here, right? If we had this linked list, we start off at h1, h2, while h2, this is true. We compare the values. They are equal. We move both of them down. h1 is at node 2. h1 is at node 2. Their values are equal. We move them in again. h1 goes to h1 next and h2 goes to h2 next. We make a check h1.val does not equal h2.val so we are going to return false these are not palindromes right they're not mirrored they don't read the same going forward or backwards so this is not going to be a palindrome and that is it so let's go ahead and submit this and it is accepted now talking about space and time complexity for space we're not using anything that's dependent on how big our input gets we're only keeping track of a few variables and moving them in so this is going to be constant O of 1. For a time, we are looping through our linked list first with two pointers to find that midpoint. That is an O of N operation. Then we go reverse the second half of our linked list. That is still an O of N operation. And finally, we traverse both ends of our linked list until we converge in the middle. So again, this is an order N operation. So order N operation plus order N operation plus order N operation is going to remain O of N. So time is going to be O of n and space is going to be O of 1. So we just went ahead and solved palindrome linked list with two examples with an odd linked list and an even size linked list. If you have any questions, let me know down below. If this video was helpful, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.